Hello, hello, welcome back to the Fred and the Shed channel, a radio video this time. Now you may remember in my previous video I showed you the Elenco DX77E, which I bought, which is currently locked in the hand bands. So today we're going to do a little mod and we're going to fully open this up to the 11 meter bands. So sit back and uh, hope you enjoy. So here's my Elenco 77, which is new to me of course, and it's already on the bench. <laughs> it's bad. Anyway, here's the mod we're going to do today. Um, yeah, it sounds simple enough. You know, open it up, look at the circuit board behind the panel, see a jumper mark D. Open it up. So I managed to find uh, a picture online. There's not a great deal of information about this online. And it clearly shows the jumpers. It doesn't look too bad actually. They look sort of fairly large. But uh, this fella here seems to have made quite a hack of it. I'm hoping that I'll make a better job than that. But it appears you just have to sort of desolder this jumper mark D and that will then open the radio up fully to uh, all the bands, be open band. Fantastic. So as that Aussie bloke says, we're in like Flynn. And yeah, inside it looks quite nice and clean. It doesn't seem to be too sort of molested or pulled about. Because you know, it's always a risk, isn't it, when you buy a radio off eBay. But this guy doesn't seem like a rig doctor. This one seems okay. Right, first job. You see this little jumper switch here on the motherboard? This turns the power from 100 watts down to 50 watts and this is something that I need to do at the moment because currently I do not own a power supply that will be able to give the 20 amps to the radio which it needs to run at 100 watts. So for now I've got to run on half power. Well that was too easy. Let's move on to that little connector that I have to open up. And yeah once again no complaints here it all looks factory fresh. The solder looks unmolested. So that's a little connector there that I just have to desolder that open up and then the radio will be full multiband. So as my soldering skills are pretty limited, as is my equipment, not taking any chances here at all, uh, using a little bit of masking tape to sort of solder around this connector just in case I miss with the iron or maybe drop some solder on those other pads. I'm just going to go at this very carefully, very gently with a sort of half heated iron and some solder wick and hopefully just suck that solder straight off that board. So wish me luck. So one very sweaty brow later. Yeah, success, success. The solder came off the board. Lovely. No dripping, no messing. Nice clean. And here you can see it with the masking removed. And I think I got it on the first go. So pretty pleased with that. Quite outstanding how easy that was actually. I wasn't looking forward to doing that. Well the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So let's get it up in the shack and test. We are on uh, 27771. Which is, uh, that's one below 90. That's 18. That's uh, channel 18 FM. As you remember before the radio would block any uh, TX. And now... you can see um, we've got TX that's that's on half power so that should be round about um, 50 watts there give or take I've got the uh, grant tuned in so we have got some modulation testing testing one two one two and I must say that the Alinco microphone sounds pretty good it's only a dynamic but testing one two one two Seems to have quite a nice gain on it. So I think we'll be keep, as a keeper, we'll be keeping that. So I'm just going to have a quickly flick up now and we'll just uh, check the power. So just going to check the swire now. Sorry that the camera's a little bit uh, pissed. <laughs> Happens. <laughs> Tripod's not straight. Anyway, so just going to run through the swire. Um, got it pretty good now on that Antron 99. Had to play around a lot with a coax. But uh, let's have a look. Yeah, about one to two. That's good enough, considering where I've got it. Right, so we're just going to switch over to power now. Switch on to the uh, 100 watt scale, so that comes up on the bottom now. And there we go, just a smidgen under 50, probably about 40, 49 and a half watts. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. So there we go, it looks like that uh, mod was a success. <laughs> Bit of a sigh of a relief, I hate mucking about with radios, you know, especially when they're kind of fairly new to me. So there you go, oh I'm glad that's over, I, I wasn't looking forward to that mod, didn't want to cop that one up at all. So there you go, my Elenco DX77E is now completely wideband. Um, illegal I guess, yeah I suppose it is. Does that make me a pirate? <laughs> 
Am I a Captain Jack Sparrow? Am I a pirate now? Yeah, I guess I am. But there you go. So yeah, I've just got to program in the memories now. Uh, 1 to 80 FMAM. Make it easier to use. And uh, yeah, fantastic. We'll get. I think my next little project is going to be. I'm going to make up a little ammeter and uh, voltmeter just for them mascot power supplies that I've got. So I'm going to be pushing those a little bit hard, and I just want to make sure that I'm not going to uh, burn those out just yet. In time, I will be looking at getting say a you know, 25 amp proper power supply, and then I can sort of run the radio at uh, 100 watts. It's a shame it hasn't got a variable adjuster on the power. That's probably the only one thing I'm a little bit disappointed with, but uh, you know. That's what you get. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that little bit of modding. Um, thanks for watching, as always, and I will catch you all on the next one. Okay, cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye for now.